everything that's going on in the world feels really, really relevant. It's gonna hold up a mirror, and it's also gonna create some really interesting conversations. And you and I will finally be free of one another. You will never be free of me until both my children are safe. There are moments on the show when the show and reality meld, and there are moments when the line gets really blurry. That day in DC, shooting those scenes at that spot, the line just disappeared. Government had been shut down. No one knew it was The Handmaid's Tale or they wouldn't have allowed it. You know, you hear these things and it's just so thrilling that they pulled it off. It's a powerful, exciting journey we feel for June, but I think we feel very, very united with her in that journey. And you know, you don't have to be a wife or a mother if you don't want it. Then what would I be? You. It's easy to decide you're going to do something. It's a lot harder to actually do it. There's no handbook on how to be a rebel. One thing that Margaret Atwood always says is that she hasn't put anything in The Handmaid's Tale, the book, that hasn't happened in history to some woman somewhere. I am who I am, and I have sinned plenty, but you, you are the gender traitor. And it's honoring the reality, and that's the goal. Here's what I don't get. If women don't want to be defined by their bodies, why are they always using them to get what they want? Maybe they aren't. Maybe men are just too easily distracted. I think the show is one of those generational shows. It leads.